Isimilidia katakofo Ezedike So, Yule Doche came up with some write-up recently and we all know that um, he was trying hard to discredit, to kind of dampen the spirit of ex-wife May. He's here to kind of, um, you know, realize that it is over and since he is kind of seeing it that there is no way that he can get back to me or me um, agree to his proposal of polygamy. He's looking for several ways of destroying, of making sure that nothing works for her. Um, those type of men are very dangerous. You know, these are men who will go with someone else and still fight tooth and nail whenever they see their ex prospering, whenever they see their ex even um, moving on in life, moving, you know, probably even getting someone else. They will try to do all. I'm sure you must have heard about the hacking of a social media page. Not the personal page. I mean, the profile that she opened, the page that she opened to interact with her customers. She came up with her own brand and she got hacked. Anyway. Yule Doche wrote something, protect yourself physically and spiritually. Too many witches and demons walking around, be strong, never give up. Giving up is never an option. Ijelodogu, Ijele Simili, Judy Austin. Now, Yule Doche has been advised. You can go as far as you want to write about your, you know, Isimili or Ijele or whatever. But do not in any way, indirectly, drag me into your story. He went on to write and connect himself to the RIP of the Nigerian singer called Mobad. And he said, plus the Nollywood people that uh, are saying RIP justice and all of that. What about him? He said that all of you are demons and wicked people, simply chasing clout. You are all the same people who have been insulting me for over one year, bullying me on the internet, trying to hard to harip me for matter we no concern on us, simply because I took a personal decision for my life that is not your business. He went on to talk about how we don't know what he has been suffering, facing in that home and what led to his decision. Now, that is his business. We will be listening to Yule Doche's um, lookalike brother, his brother. He's about to drop some bombshell and I want you to listen from the beginning of it till the end of it. He's going, he's going to touch on some deep things and like we do, we analyze it and your comments are highly appreciated. This is getting serious. I read the screenshots, uh, screenshot messages that was published. I saw where he said that um, those who are, who are now clamoring for the justice um, uh, for, uh, what was it called, um, uh, Mobad or whatever, all right? That they are the same people who engineered his death because if they had celebrated him while he was alive, then he wouldn't have died. And he said that same thing has happened to him for more than one year. That such acts on him could lead to depression and all of that. You know. So when I read that, I laughed and I saw where he also referred to his fans and followers as idiots. You understand? So before I tell you what I want to say today, please know you that y'all didn't publish that. Okay? The y'all I know couldn't have referred to his fans as idiots. So that purely shows that y'all didn't write that. But I'm suspecting Judy Austin because nobody else would do that other than Judy Austin. Okay? Judy Austin wrote that on y'all's verified page and it is very unacceptable. If you guys saw my comment on y'all's page, I told Judy Austin never again in her life should she ever invade y'all's privacy or go to y'all's page to publish rubbish. She should never do it again. She should never do it again because the y'all I know can never refer to his fans as his jots. It's not possible. It's never been done. It has never been done and can never be done. Okay? You know, women, women are jealous beings. Women are beings that love attention. Women are, uh, women are beings that always, that, that are very competitive in nature. I know Judy Austin had to do that because she saw how much May's fans celebrated her on her bed there. She probably must have seen the five million which we gave to May through Patience Blog. 
and now she's going crazy. She's going mad about that. So she felt that she could discredit me, you know, by publishing that rubbish, you know. Y'all, how could you how could you ever think that y'all published that when all this why, all this why he has never said anything about his marriage? He has never said anything about what caused uh, 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 the divorce issue with him. See, all of that is uh, Judy at work, okay, trying to discredit me. We know when she acts because we are spiritual beings. We are principalities upon the earth. So when she acts, I know. So you all should know that y'all didn't publish that. That which you read on y'all's page yesterday evening was never published by y'all. Okay? Y'all never published that. It was Judy Justin who did. Okay? And her sole intent is to discredit me. To a kind of mech fans of me to begin to see her as somebody that is very troublesome, that is acrimonious, that is divisional, and that is troublesome. All right? But we know whenever she, whenever Judaism acts up, we know because we are we are very spiritual beings. So if it's because of the five million naira that was given to me that is making Judaism to go crazy and to come up to on on your page to publish rubbish, I will not let her know that uh, when May turns forty-one next year, we would increase the money from five million to twenty million. So only gamu kamu. We would increase her money from 5 million, her better gift to, from Precious Block would be increased from 5 million to 20 million. In fact, I will be so involved in her next year's birthday that all the enemies of progress will be put to shame. Because I can't really fathom why all this while y'all never spoke about his auntie Rita. He never spoke about me. He never spoke about what led to his divorce with me. He never spoke about being depressed. How suddenly, how, 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 how can he suddenly begin to talk about that? The dog who I know cannot even refer to his fans as idiots. So can you guys now read her writing on the wall? Can you guys now see who is writing through your page? It is not y'all, it is Judy. And Judy enough is enough. How could he be talking of your fans' action leading him to depression? What is more depressing than seeing somebody steal your husband and at the same time seeing the same lady with your husband on the media, on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere singing and dancing? What is more depressing than that? You think you know about depression? You think you know about depression? Or you think that, I right, actually let me find who got involved because I want to get involved in yours matter. No, I only came to advise you because I felt it's wrong for him to be every time on the media with you, Judy. It's wrong. It could be depressing to me. It could be depressing to his children. It could even send his, it, it could even cause a psychological problem. That was when I got involved in the first place. And not because I'm idle. So I'm not in your matter because I'm idle or because I want to talk. And whoever that is always tagging me and calling me to hear my views and opinion, please know that I'm a very busy man, okay? I got involved because I needed to air the truth. And the truth has been aired. So please don't drag me on matters which pertains to y'all all the time okay so you all must know like those who want to know y'all didn't publish that which you saw on his timeline yesterday judy austin did judy austin is jealous that may is getting unprecedented attention judy austin is mad because may's fans gave her five million naira on her birthday so she's seeking means, she's seeking avenues to discredit, to dampen, to foil, to soil, to damage the reputation of May. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. You heard the long, lengthy, and when I say lengthy, you know what I mean. He has spoken, he has touched on a lot of things, and these are things that we have all seen also, and I'm sure most of you have um, seen this also, and you've commented um, about it. Yule Duche is acting like a, a bruised cat, you know, like 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 a bruised dog. That is how he's acting. His ego is he knows that all of those social media uh dogu one and all of those um, you know, nasty rubbish um foolishness that uh, himself and and um Judy Hosting engage in. He knows, he knows quite well that none of these things makes any sense. We all saw the progress of May 
endorsement personal brand skincare brand launched and how a lot of people came out for her i mean they came in support of her birthday and we saw how she did it ile duchi is nowhere to be found ile duchi is not shining he said he's a politician he wants to be this he wants to be that and many things that uh, you know dreams and aspiration but unfortunately he lost the track i do not know what he is saying that he is experiencing in his home i don't know is it his wife questioning him about his escapades probably she suspected or what or is it something else that um, he wants to tell us he went on ranting saying that um, because a man does not speak or the world sympathizes more with a woman that does not mean that him as a man in his home he was having it good that a lot of things were happening and that is why he felt like i think to reduce all of this tension or issue that i'm facing at home maybe when he comes home the wife will be like no don't touch me maybe you have gone to touch one actress upcoming maybe there is issue of lack of trust and it became so frustrating and you know on the movie set he found someone bubbly who is ready to do and undo and both of them hooked up and this is the result of it but unfortunately for him he met someone that huh, i don't know what you guys can say about Judy Austin he met someone that further reduced you see he was thinking that okay if i go out there and i hook up with someone else i will get somebody else i will do this i will do that <laughs> i'm thinking he's a very foolish man if he thought that me is like house help house maid that you can order around or someone that will just accept whatever it is that you want it doesn't work that way he lost it because if you are trying to better yourself if you feel that your home is not what you want it to be maybe that woman is causing issues creating problems pressuring you giving you problems and you feel like okay i think if i go if i get someone out there it will reduce the pressure at least i'll have peace of mind you want to go for peace of mind you now went for a woman with so much baggages i don't know maybe they both uh, um emotionally deceived themselves maybe she too was just like hey yes my husband the one that i married he used to be like this and him too will say his own story and both of them felt like it seems we both have um, shoulders to cry upon so let me cry on yours and you will cry on mine and i think because we both have the same problems in our homes or similar problems or related problems let us simply join hands together and forge ahead maybe that is what he thought but regardless if that is what it is let us even assume that that is what it that is what it is why then did you come out on social media talking and misbehaving you should not have talked or spoken about this publicly in this manner all you needed to have done is to speak to the woman in question your spouse speak to her about it if she refuses and she says no this is not possible this is not going to happen then let it be maybe you want to tell your fans one or two things about your private things just make it short and say something meaningful not the way you went about it and he also did mention of the rip of his son kambli chukwu said people are accusing him that is behind it ah oga they will accuse you because of the way and manner at which you even handled your divorce or your separation or your polygamy so called polygamy of a thing everything from the beginning to the end the way you handled it it is not right you are too loud about it you don't have sense there are certain things that you keep to yourself as a human being as a man with so much complexity or with so much that you claim is happening so the same way you kept your mouth shut about what you allegedly you are telling us happened between or was happening between you and me is the same way you should have handled it also like you want to involve and engage in polygamy you spoken to your first wife and you are still talking you don't know whatever steps she wants to take about it 
End of story. Move on with life. Not that you come out and begin to tell us that we should see the beauty in polygamy. We should look at Solomon and then we should look at this. And that can't we see how endorsements are coming into May? And then um, you too, you want endorsement and you started ranting, talking. People started looking at it like, is this man normal? Are you the only polygamist? So, guy, get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Now look at yourself. You are the only person that we know that decided to wear a dress with a picture of the president and inscription or a caption saying that the president can do it. It is called campaigning after election. The president is already there. You are the only person. Now tell us, do you have sense? I want you to like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel. See you in the next update.